Do your thing. We're uh, going through. All right. I'm going to try and get ahead of you this time. This looks like the old We're close I'm not sure, but I feel like you shouldn't be underneath. Okay. I feel like we are somewhere vaguely important. Josh, sweetie, I hope all's fine with you and your mum. We really should keep in better touch. I've taken a post in New Zealand with that program they've got for young people returning to the country. They want to be absolutely certain it's safe. At the moment, I'm making a survey of the caldera at Taupo? Blast from the past, indeed. At any rate, I don't know if you already saw in the Wyoming News, Hollow, but remember that fellow Dodd Blevins? Of course you do. Well, they finally found out what became of him. I've copied the good hit below. Hugs and snogs, Isla. Spring thaw reveals body of man, missing man. The retreat of the winter snows has brought closure to a missing person case that went unsolved for nearly 15 years. Human remains identified as those as Dodger Dodd Blevins, who disappeared in 2046, were located at Purple Mountain inside the former Yellowstone National Park. The previously undiscovered body emerged on Purple Mountain as a result of meltwater flows after an unusually warm winter. It was discovered by Faro servitors conducting a survey of the terrain. Authorities believe that the cause of death was an accident involving an antique vehicle designed for winter traversal. All right. Well, he didn't seem like the most pleasant person, but you know, I guess we shouldn't be wishing that on anyone. The voice of the demon. Okay. I can't tell what he's saying or what it's saying. The altar. Okay. Source node. Oh, you know what? While we were down there, we there was some stuff. Cyan access. There were some valves that I looked at and didn't activate earlier on. Ooh, good grief. As acting chief digital security officer and interim AI administrator for Firebreak Project, I hereby state to have updated the orbicular pattern for the Cyan regulatory AI on the 17th of September 2064, according to procedure to ensure against tampering, meddling, dis arm, disarranging or outlandish mischief of any kind. <laughs> Such as with the previous updates after the source node has been activated, the remaining data nodes must be passed to establish a flow between adjacent intact nodes to then connect back with the source node, Jürgen Holm. All right. What did he actually say? I mean, I read it and I, I heard myself saying it. Which data point was it? Was it was after the source node has been activated, the remaining data nodes must be passed to establish a flow between the adjacent intact nodes to then connect back with the source node. Okay, it sounds similar to the ones that were. There is no blue light here. Is the spirit present, or only the demon? I think it's both, but we have to find out. Yeah, I got a feeling there's something down there. Uh, I've got... Really? I've got a full satchel. Shock. Total shock. Absolutely. Completely shock. All right. Oh. Did I make enough space for whatever was in here? Blaze. Let's take the wire. And... 
I think I'll just leave the rest. I really, really should have sold some stuff. Okay, so first things first. Override the source node. And now I've got two. Where are we going? That's a dead end. Where are we trying to get this thing? We're trying. Aren't we trying to get it back to itself or something? No, that can't be. Because that would be dead simple. And that's. It said we needed to root it somewhere and then root it back to itself. But like that isn't gonna work. Oh, ah, no. Why? Well, I see now. This thing's ah. So what we have to do is come, 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 come. There. This one's gonna come into here. The only way we can get it to go in there is. Like that. This. Goes in here. This must go like so. Which means we need to have this one. Pointing like that. There, there, this needs to be like that, then this needs to go in this way. That's pointing at it, but will it be good enough? Uh, I think we can do this and then turn this one. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Cyan. Spirit of the blue light. It's Aurea. Your servant. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Okay. Capture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been exposed, but I am incapable of the Go to the core. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. <laughs> of course it's not. going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. Save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Yeah. Keep moving towards the core. Huh. Am I telling them that or myself? Uh-oh. Uh, 
whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Okay. Wow, it's all wobbly. What? Oh, we're going to get one of those demonic pulses. Yes, we are. Metal shards, blaze. Let's take the chill water and... You know what? I've used some of those, so... Uh, where's my yellow? Where, where's my yellow? Um, okay. My yellow has gone. Somebody has stolen my yellow. I'm not. I either need to destroy this thing or override it. What, the control tower? I'm gonna override it, but but where's my yellow? Where's my goddamn yellow? I mean, there's sort of a yellowy thing now, but I don't think that counts. It's not gonna let me up there. Can't see any yellow here. I mean, I can see a way through. Can I... Can I bunny hop my way? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. So used to looking up. Override the control tower. All right, that doesn't seem too hard. It's right there. So what am I missing? What am I missing then? Why? What? What? Why is why is that sort of like sounding like a real? It's right there. All right. No way it's going to be this easy. No way it's going to be this easy. Okay. All right, now. Oh, there we go! Right, and I'm still in lava. I'm still in lava, and that is a... a new unit that Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. Oh, okay, no, that's not what... That's not what, what where's, where's my thing? Yeah, take it down, take it down, take it down. Oh, God, I missed. Ouch! Oh, my God, it spits lava. Are you... Why is it not... Why is it... No, I'm... No, I'm out! Why have I got no ammo? I got loads of goddamn ammo. Did I really? No. No, okay, I didn't. No. What? Why is it? No, no, for God's sake. Oh. Oh, they hit it. All right, you know, you know what? You know what? I do not like this weapon. No, I don't. I'm going to stick with that. It worked last time. And right now, I'm going to try and... Where is it? Oh, what the... F oh. Okay, what? Right, i gotta, I got to menu manage, menu manage. Come on. Menu manage. Menu manage. Oh, phew. Right, I gotta, I gotta switch to that. Why am I not dodging? Why am I not sprinting? That. Why am I picking up a goddamn flower? Okay. Did I take the extra potion? No, I didn't. Okay, I can't even get my. I've taken it. Oh, thank. Love for that. 
right. Oh. I think I might just reload and start again because I'm getting seriously cheesed off. Okay, what what am I dealing with here? I I, I can't remember. We fire. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Wait, I, I, I want to just... Right, what the f*** am I dealing with? Sorry about cheesing this, but alright, we got... It's a fire claw. Oh, this is a new thing. It's not a frost claw with... Dim right, okay. Weak to freeze, got it. it shoot it in the fire sack. Alright, oh, right, 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 right. That makes sense. I can't, I can't even get far enough away from this damn thing. Why, why has it changed from my... There are times when I hate this interface. Beyond! Okay. Okay. Uh... I couldn't even dodge at that point. Oh, you know what, I'm just... No, I'm not healing. You know what? I'm not healing. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Kill me. Kill me. You know why? Because it's a game. I don't care. Okay. Right. Alright. Okay, have I got him? Why? Got no, no ammo, no ammo. Is that actually going down? No, 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 no. Uh. Where, 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 where's the tower? Where's the... Where is it? That one? That's oh, that one. It is. It's active. I see it. I see it. Yeah, stop your whining. Just okay. That's. Oh my god. Stay still. Okay, how do I get this guy to stay still? Are these even working on him? Oh, well, you know what? No, I can't I can't do it with him there. I cannot do it with him there. I cannot do it with him there. Can't he won't stay away from it? So I don't. Okay, you got him. You got him. Right, keep him. Control. Keep. Oh no, he's gonna. I'm trying. I'm trying. It takes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, that. Oh, I accidentally hit jump instead of dodge. Okay, 
Well, this thing's just too slow. Ugh. Got the bloody cold going on him. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, you know what? What else do I have? What else do I have? Oh, I got, I got it. You know what I've got? More explosives. Is he doing the tower again? Are you... Uh, okay, you know what? Sod it. Don't care if it's cheesy. You must deal with the tower, Shut up. I'm not in the mood for you. I'm really not in the mood for you. I'm crafting. Don't you see I'm crafting? Okay. Okay. Freeze him. Okay. Yeah, I must deal with it. Okay. I'm going to deal with the tower. You good? You good? What is cheesy? What, crafting mid-combat? <laughs> you don't think that's cheesy? Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> like, I'm just going to make some arrows and bombs. Okay. Can I do what? Can I do what's this strike on him? Cheesy's not cheating, it's just cheesy. I mean, you know, cheesy's cheesy, isn't it? You know? <laughs> using, using game mechanics that don't make any sense, but kind of need to, because you're going to get your... Oh, really? Oh, God, what am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Shoot him in the butt, guys. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. Oh! <clears throat> fire claw. I've not met fire claws before, have I? Don't think I have. I think that was my first. I thought it was a. That was a frost claw. Oh, don't be talking about what must be done. Don't even. Don't even. Not even. Nope. Nope. What must be done right now is lots of crafting. To entertain yourselves over there. Talk about stuff. Be all heroic and broody and wise and poetic. Be very Banook. Just be Banook. I'll be with you in a second. Any minute now. Really just right there. The tower. Perhaps it must be destroyed. Which tower are we talking about? 
You don't mean a control tower? Because we've already done that, and you're a little behind. All right, and... Have I looted that? Okay, nope, right. So, we've got... Him. Is it this thing? We gotta destroy this? Is that what we gotta do? Have I got everything from there? No. Nope. Oh, right. There's, a, there's an override here. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, what? Wasn't that your autonomous defenses? Oh, no. Did he say inoperative? No. Do you know what she's doing? I mean, it doesn't seem that hard, really. Stick it in and twist it. Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. Okay, is she okay? I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Aurea, I'm free. You must escape. Okay, why is our attack not walking? Uh, uh. My sister! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, go, go. Let's go. Now-ish. Well, this way, right? Just, 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 just. Yep, this way. Come on, out of tech. I'm assuming you're with me. Come on. Oh. One of those? It's the only way. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're fine, it's yellow. As long as it's yellow, you're good. Also not good. Give me up top our attack. Now oh, like a small task. Just swing and throw a grown ass woman above you with one hand. Okay. I need explosive ammo. Above, quick! I don't have some? Apparently. 
Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, you are not serious. I did not just put the ball in the corner pocket. <laughs> uh. gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. So that's where we're going. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Okay, one thing. Where is the volcano? I don't see it from here. I mean, I'm guessing that Cyan is now going to... ...deal with the volcano? Okay. Trying to remember how the hell to get there. All right. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Right. Yeah. Can I can I talk to our attack first? Or has he gone up? He's gone up. I will talk to him later. All right. Hello, 
Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So yeah, and I... I don't know what to so say. So she is, it is truly sentient. any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Huh. Is it possible she's lonely? Okay, let's just... So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. Oh, wow. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Okay. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. Okay. This is probably an important question. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Okay. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Could Eager it be? To make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate, that you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Aurea as well. Green is happy. Okay. What is Hephaestus? He's not, like, a part of... Is it Hades? Back in... Okay, just... What do you think Hephaestus is, exactly? A software entity of great complexity. Far more advanced than I am. Okay. From the beginning, it has demonstrated a singular focus. 
the construction of machines designed to hunt and kill humans. My trace routes indicate that to accomplish this goal, it has attempted to take over the manufacturing centers you refer to as cauldrons. Right. But its efforts have only been partially successful. Some, it can penetrate. Others have robust countermeasures that frustrate its efforts. In me, however, it found an easier target. Not only could it break my defenses, I also controlled all of Firebreak's resources. Raw material. Manufacturing to bootstrap more advanced tools. An unlimited geothermal energy. Enough to build its own cauldron. Yes. To construct hunter killers without external limitations. And yet, it does have internal limitations. It wants to kill humans, but not to exterminate them. It is difficult to understand where it draws the line and why. Difficult doesn't even begin to cover it. Even though I spent years as its unwilling servitor, its core programming remains a mystery to me. Okay. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. Okay, let's ask about Firebreak. This Firebreak project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron. It took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Uh, colleagues. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Okay. I do have some other questions, and um, I'm hoping I can ask about Silas. Okay, apparently not. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Right. Huh. So it was it was a wildlife preserve to to save endangered species. I wonder if it still is. With us being the endangered species. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. When it, These provided me with several colorful additions. Was to that my the girls? The, the, the band? 
<laughs> okay. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. So Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. Yeah, and someone screwed it up, didn't they? No clue. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. Hmm. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. Okay. So things got better. For a little while at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. Yeah, strange, isn't it? Struggling over resources. When theoretically, there's enough resources to make us all healthy, happy, and hale. If we actually cooperated. But yeah, climate change is definitely going to make that a little less likely. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. <laughs> At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. Guessing they wound up regretting that one. Yeah, I guess. Saved it, then destroyed it. So, more like he just delayed the destruction. And Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. No, it's not your fault. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance, to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. Stop you reaching sentence. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. <laughs> yeah. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. I suppose. There's a ruin east of here full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes. A drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, okay. the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats. 
though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Bit of a control break. Okay, but that's it. Don't think I'm going to get anything. Ugh. Without silence, but there we go. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world. Their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly. Yes. You've got some truth. Take it gently. Use your judgment. I... You've got to, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't just come out and blurt it out instantaneously. I would not say... Maybe that you believe is complete horse crap. It, people just do not take that well. That does not work. It doesn't work. It does not work. Use your judgment. She's probably got a judgment. I would suggest... I would suggest easing into it. Human beings are generally more easily convinced if you if they feel like they had a choice that like they were allowed to think it through just yeah take it take it easy with them life is hard for the banuk their world is unforgiving and their beliefs i guess they help to keep them going so take it easy on them try to guide them Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Yeah, please. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. <laughs> you would. Because at heart, you want to be honest, right? I see. I will follow your advice. All right, yeah. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Sayan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. I should. The first. Sayan, I spoke with Anita with, with Dr. Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and... We need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. It might be a very long time. Will you be here when I reboot, Dr. Chow? Will Dr. Sandoval? No, Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone. At least, not at first. Dr. Chow, I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. I know, Cyan. I'm afraid too. But listen. We made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent. So intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable. What you're feeling, the fear, it's a sign of your capabilities. And it means you're strong enough to overcome it. Remember that. You're strong. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up and protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. And I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, she Dr. Chow? Gone? Yes. I, I need to go be with my sister. My nieces. May I make a small request of you, Dr. Chow? Yes. Anything. 
Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. Freezing. The ground, the air, me. Yeah. You know what, though? As cold as it is here, I'm gonna miss this place. I mean, the view. Where is the volcano? Is it right behind us? Is it been. Quieten? My chieftain. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her look at what she accomplished. She was willing to fight. No. In the end, you didn't, and she believed in you. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now, I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone. But there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuk has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It would seem your time among the Banuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. What do you think Hephaestus is, Silence? I'm not sure. But its name comes from a language even the old ones considered ancient, as does the name Hades. A connection, perhaps. There's yet a glimpse. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday. We may have to stop it. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the Cut Silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. <laughs> I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. <laughs> yep, just let him know he's not in charge here. I do wonder what his story really is. And whether or not we're going to find out. Can't see... I can't see the plume of smoke anymore. Has it stopped temporarily? 
place is at peace. Oh, I am actually going to miss this. I'm going to miss this place. <laughs>